Hello everyone. Welcome to our today's episode on stay relevant and stay competitive. Today we have Pratiksha. She is a computer science graduate, passed in 2018, and she came up in our training program in May 2022. And she just got placed in one of the MNC in Pune as an RPA developer. So let's connect Pratiksha and discuss how she has shifted his career into robotic process automation. So many congratulations, Pratiksha, for your uh, first project. and uh, welcome to our session today yes thank you so much for that first of all yeah actually i mean uh, really i'm going great with this job and this was like my dream job uh, genuinely if i have to tell you this so Perfect. yeah everything is good yeah yeah sure so my first question is to you pratiksha uh, tell us something about yourself and what was your inspiration to upskill in rpa okay yeah uh, so first of all i am pratiksha pradhane i am from kolhapur maharashtra previously uh, means i have completed my engineering from computer science department itself but mm-hmm. then i used to work into uh, digital marketing firstly and after then i switched into sales due to uh, some consequences i had to join this but then i thought uh, like after working into sales for 2 years like side by side i used to explore some technologies like which are the trending technologies and all then like in this year in 2022 i came across uh, rpa like because uh, one of my brother is also working into the same industry from past 3 right. years so i was uh, you know uh, watching him doing this things into rpa and i found it really interesting because first of all it was trending all over the internet i used to explore by myself that what is trending and all so this is one of the uh, best technology which comes into top 10 technologies nowadays right. Right. Uh, recently so um side by side i explored like i really wanted to join some like i wanted a platform to uh, start a fresh into rpa but uh, i really had no idea so i used to just explore on internet or i used to google so many things then there like of course i wanted to go through an institute because what i thought means what my thought was i just need a platform where i'll be able to learn few things i need someone to train me for this thing so once i'll be trained for particular things in future i won't have any problems and i'll be able to connect with those people again if i have any problems in future okay. so uh, yes i explored and i came across this emergent tech and i tell you uh, means this was the first uh, you know url and first uh, one which i saw in google then i used to explore like i explored so many uh, institutes but then right. i came across emergent tech and it was that time it was uh, you know everyone was taking it offline there was uh, like there so everyone was taking it online training there was no offline tra- training at my time so yeah i explored i comments i guess i also remember our first call when i called you and we yeah, had right. a discussion at that time i was in a company i was working so yes, yes, we yes. had a discussion and uh, i asked you so many questions regarding this but then i really found it genuine and i thought chalo let's see dekhte hai jo bhi hoga but i found you personally and suman was really matlab mera aisa tha ki no this guy, person is something gen someone is genuine so i thought let's start with it even the charges were not itna nahi tha ki bahut zyada charges hai and i cannot afford because at that time i had to leave my that job to study rpa so right. i started yeah that's good and thank you <laughs> my next question is to you like it is possible for a fresher to get a job as an rpa developer yeah why not of course and not uh, into a engineering background just not from just engineering background but everyone from every single industry uh, can join rpa actually if you will put your efforts if you will give your efforts if someone is there to train you then you can absolutely go for rpa because personally for rpa no coding is required like especially for ui path if you will say if we will say so yeah for everyone it is possible to go into this industry yeah but the thing is like it's a, it's still it's a point of debate so, so sometime i put the, some blogs and article on linkedin people used to say like it's a code free it's a coding so a lot of discussion but still it's saying like 
as per your experience non coder can also you can learn rp the my next question is like that say is a non programmer can also become an rp expert yes yeah, still it's a very debatable question but still i am asking to you because you just got that job and you are doing as an rp developer yeah, yeah. because if i will say from last i passed into 2018 from computer of course but then from last four years i literally had no experience into programming domain right and then i had to st uh, start from the scratch so as an eighth at my time it was difficult for me also even i thought that uh, if i am going into automation like selenium or anything so it will be quite difficult because there are this programming languages but into rpa i see i have seen my brother working into this so there is no code required i have seen him working practically in front of me at my right. home and yeah. uh, no it is not required because i have gone through this training program and currently i'm working into a company so yes just the logic is required over there and that everyone everyone has that sense that's it yeah yeah good 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 to hear that and good point to you know explained by you so uh, what are your suggestions for a fresher to become an rp developer uh suggestion would be you have to be very you know you have to be uh, uh what to say like uh, you have to be updated first right. of all you should know the knowledge and you should know where you can get the training from where you have to uh, you know connect with whom people you have to connect and all you just need to explore it on your own you have to study on your own otherwise there are many institutes into the market but choose a proper one that is most important because even if after you know uh, taking a training from an institute i have seen many even i have completed training through uh, some of the institutes i won't right. name it but no nobody is helping into the market everyone is here for the money purpose but right. no so the platform which is very important and uh, own study self study is also important you should be consistent about whatever you are doing and what was your experience like once you are, you have learned the completed your training and how you have shifted your job like what is your strategy and what was your experience to getting job your first job in rp okay uh, so the thing is i left my job in february i was literally uh, you know i was quite uh, frightened like i'm leaving this job at this time means i was taking a risk at that time i right. asked you many times like see anshuman i'm leaving this job and yeah, i don't yeah, want I to remember. take this risk and even you said that no pratiksha it is completely fine you just have to give your 100% to this stick to this one we are assuring by from our side you just have to study on your own that was the thing so i said okay let's go with this because i confirmed it many times from your side but then right. yeah literally from my side from the uh, technology point of view uh, from that perspective i uh, rpa was really trending into a market and it is of course so yeah in feb i left my job and yeah, yeah. uh genuinely it means i'm not saying this i left my job in february i got uh, this uh, opportunity to get placed into a month after just one two months of training because it was uh, like i completed my training around in may or uh, first week june. of june i guess exactly in yeah, june. yeah 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 but then i was not consistent about this means i had few issues actually right. personal issues but i was right. really really not a consistent so due to that my my placement got uh, you know you just got delayed yeah just for one day yeah it is delayed but then i gave my first interview in the last month which was in the month of uh, september i guess right. uh, september end i guess and i got placed for the first company only and then later good thing to hear and even again, i got placed and then really it was a great journey with emergent tape of course yeah yeah good good to hear and again your congratulation for your new job so i think it's yeah. it's it's not like that nowadays uh, the the scenario is, is like that uh, there is a demand and supply gap still there are good requirement in rp developer and the student like you they have learned and they are getting within 15 days many of student they got their job in 15 days and, and still there are few students even they they didn't get their job right 
the reason is like yeah. you have to focus on the training suppose whatever the uh, assignments and the practical things we are doing if you are focus on that and if you are serious so it's not that, that difficult is, yeah because uh, personally my means i will say the trainers from mbjet tech are really really good means yeah. i have no words for that even if uh, they are working into industry side by side they are giving us a training exactly. and they are also like whenever we want we have difficulty we can personally like we i used to personally connect with my trainer i used to provide uh, like uh, send them a message they used to uh, give me a call whenever they are free in their time and yes it is very important whenever you are complete go, going with your training you have to uh, complete your all the assignments which are given by the trainer at that time i used to discuss it with my trainers into the training also right. so that part is was very important means you have to complete the assignments you have to complete training study and everything at the same time so for that even the trainers were also ki ha like aapka hua hai kya kya hai so mm. they were also taking this feedback from us every time and so we always was, yeah and we, we we always endeavor on this like like how we can create our content like, which is industry based so we keep you know do our research and you know uh, and we keep updating our content so that because every, every day the industry is changing so we use add use cases use assignments so that people can understand better and they can jump into the project directly they don't have any regret like i have only learned one and a half month of the training or me itna ready right so hum log iske koshish karte rehte hai we try hard to you know get good content to the people so yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for pratiksha and my last question is what is your feedback about our emergent tech learning experience of course uh, see emergent tech i firstly i said even i have gone through many institutes i am not uh, you know judging and i am not blaming the other ones but then i have to if i have to personally give feedback for emergent tech i will genuinely and honestly tell ki emergent tech was the great platform for me to start my career into rpa which was very important in this world nowadays because if i'm starting my career into the technology which is trending and which is going to boom into the market like in next 10 years or 15 years so it will be my lifetime journey for rpa so emergent tech was really a great platform to start my journey as a fresher even if i was from a computer background and whenever like you want to go for any other program from the emergent tech i would recommend every single person i know like whoever asking or whoever looking for the programs to go into such a industry right. so yes emergent tech uh, the trainers are really good they are also helping us they are teaching very well and the time duration they are giving it is also important even after completion completion of your training they are providing you the placement opportunity which is also important for us and yeah that's all and main part is that you are always there to support us to provide us to everything and motivate us even if we are not uh, you know taking our own responsibility or there to ping us hey pratiksha you have to do this and that <laughs> so yeah that's all and thank you so much emergent take for this thank you pratiksha thank you for your valuable feedback and connecting with us on this session hope this session would help the community to you know understand better and they can take their decision as per your background like the people like your background and maybe the for computer science and the freshers they are looking their career into rp space thank you very much yeah. and all the best for your future endeavor thank you thank you thank you so much thank you all if you like the video please like the button and do subscribe our channel thank you see you soon yes. again